think this might have been a misstep. And I think he was trying to be a little bit calculated with going to, up against Kanye. But it seems like even him leaking Kanye's diss song to him is all backfiring without Kanye doing anything. But YouTube family, man, rock out with your guy, DJ underscore bless one, man. Let's get it started, man. Today's show is going to show academics giving his displeasure with the one they call Drake. I guess academics wasn't feeling Drake's vibe. He wasn't feeling, you know, the certified lover boy songs. He said his producer 40 ain't doing it no more. Let's rock out and hear what's really going on and get in tune with the group. But let's pay these bills right quick. Follow the kid at DJ underscore bless one on Instagram. Salute gang. Hit that like button. Share this video. Hit that notification bell. Let's rock out for real, for real. Now, DJ Academics is going to talk about what's going on out there in the streets of Ye versus Drake. You know what I mean? So he gives his input and we want to hear him out. Let's rock out with DJ Academics right quick and hear what he had to say about the whole thing. Now, the, the, the people go against them. But finally, when Drake is trying to almost like, you know, play because, you know, Drake is a smart sleuth operator, like, 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 you know, smooth operator. Like, he's trying to, you know what I mean, play a couple chess pieces to set up his move. And the people are looking at him like, nah, nah it ain't working. Wait, 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 wait. So, so it's I a misstep. Loud and clear, give Drake an L, his first L right now. Uh, I, I no. think, no, I think he's making some missteps. I, I, I do think there's some missteps Nigga, happening. He took a misstep in chess and lost. Give him this I right think now. he tried to do the Euro step, but I think he probably stepped on the wrong leg and he may have an ACL injury. That nigga traveled and fell out of bounds. No, nigga. Stop. Hold on, by the way, hold on. By the way, here's the great thing about Drake. I think Drake is going to drop more music. I think, first of all, he's very aware of what people perceive his career. Like, if it's trending up or down, I think he's going to drop new music in the next two months. Facts. Drake he's, is in the studio or, right now. Or, or he's gonna drop a single right now. He's gonna drop a single right now. He's gonna drop a single right now. He's gonna drop a right now. Nah, this man I, I, has OVO 40 working overtime. Hold on. Yo, I'm about to drag party back to the <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. By the way, well, I, I think Karina just said it, but, but you, you know, which is kind of weird. You know what people have been saying? I was reading it. People are now trying to blame 40, claiming that it's 40's fault for not evolving Drake's sound. Since when have we turned on this engineer? Like, what's going on? I really think, and that's what I was saying about the power of comparing albums, where Kanye keeps going has made people look at 40 and be like, all right, bro, we know we know you're going to have, like, these pads and uh, all of that shit, and you Drake going to rap like this, but what's next, nigga? And to be honest, I've never seen a complaint about that before. It's new. I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. Something? We had a pandemic. We had a pandemic. So the sweatshop had to close. That's what happened. That's Stop what it. it. Mm. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. That's a hot take. I'm, I'm not, I, I see no lies. Stop. Ty, that's a good hot take. Wait, wait. Can that's I not a good hot take. By the way, he could have used not, Party Next Door more. Go, go ahead, Blaze. I'm not a really that big of a Drake fan, but you are. Does Drake have his, his own sound or does he just write the sounds of others? Because no. I think about it and I really pinpoint a specific sound that I say that is Drake's sound. He has an yo, album yo. sound. He has an album sound. 100%. Yo, speaking of which, yo, can we do a lyric breakdown? Act? Okay. Well, we okay, okay. Okay. Kanye was spitting directly at Drake. He who, told Drake. Who wrote it though? Who wrote it? That's a good question. <laughs> But that's I, was there, I was there. I was there. It was Ye. We watched it on Apple. Ye wrote it. Facts. <laughs> Who wrote it? That's Ye both. wrote it. We watched it live on Apple Music. That's facts. Oh man. Wait. Are, are, are we talking about uh, are the parts where he's like, um... oh, okay, now they made me want to rap again. That type of shit. Be like, you the type to play the, play the joke and try to hide your hand. Yeah, clearly he's talking to, to Drake. But also, but also on that song, his delivery, he looked, he sounded like Drake. Ag, it doesn't really matter who, it doesn't really matter who wrote it. A, a wise man once said, my hooks did it, my flow did it, my spirit did it. Oh, man. You know who said that? Yo, <laughs> Drake. Yo, y'all not about to use no Drake bars against me. Yo, what up? Yo, ask some OVO people on the damn stage. Yo, no, ask some OVO honestly, people on the stage. They trying to jump me, y'all. Huh? Where's my no, OVO honestly, people at? 
Put an no, owl, put an owl as your profile pic and go get, get up on the stage. <laughs> Them niggas no. got no ammunition. They hiding. That's what owls no, do, hey. nigga. They trying to catch that. Hey. Listen, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a, a, a Drake hater. Drake is like my favorite artist. But my top Drake project, it surprised even me, is Dark Lane demo tapes. It had no skips. Yeah, I, 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 streamed, I streamed CLB so many times just to support him, but I didn't listen Hello? to it as much as I streamed it because it was just, it was so mid. It was not what I expected, especially the hype surrounding it. It was nothing like what I expected. If it had a few honest. good songs. It had a few good songs, but it just wasn't Drake. I, I'm thinking, is this even CLB? Did he push it back and take stuff off that would have been better? Because it's not just that it's mid. It's it's just not Drake. I, I mean, Drake had had a terrible rollout. I mean, think about it. He sent out all Horrible. those all those um, all, all those merch, those Nike socks and jackets. We think we about to get a love a love album. That was months ago, and then now a week before he he does the Billboard shit. Still not really that much of a hype. I mean, if you're a music person, you know about this shit. Do we but think it was too many features? It, you said what? Do you think it was too many features? Or I think it's bro, too many. Take all the features I, I think, off. I think, take all the. I think it's too many off. features. Um, every every Billboard I kept seeing popping up, I was like, damn, more features. And we we know we know Kanye's a, uh, you know Kanye's not just he's not Drake. So he can get a pass with m more features than Drake. Drake is the feature. Drake is that nigga. He don't exactly. need these other niggas like to do it. And I felt like it was just extremely forced. It was, it, it was forced. Um, every rollout he tried wasn't working out. Everything that he tried wasn't wasn't working out like the hype. Like imagine having a st streaming party, millions of people watching, and then more people want to listen. Now it, we got Drake he even went dropping, on Instagram dropping live. And less and less people are listening day by day. I mean, it's just I, I, I don't know, man. To be honest, from my personal view on it, it's Curry. Uh, when I first listened to Donna, I ain't listening to none of the listening parties. I just waited until he dropped it because I realized Kanye was actually serious about this album. Um, I feel like his album was a mixture of Jesus and King with, and uh, Life of Pablo. And my Ooh. first listen through the whole album, it felt like a like an audience like a like actual stadium performance and i was fucking with it from top to bottom as for drake's album yeah god muted that nigga for a reason man it's all right man <laughs> when i when i heard the uh fair trade snippet i was like oh yeah we're good i was like we're gonna have a good album and then the more i realized it and that when i actually listened to the whole clb album i actually liked the album but he could have kept most of them features i feel like he could have he could have exactly. kept it he could have kept Jay-Z on the album. He could have kept Baby on the album. And <coughs> the rest of them could have fucking... Nah, he didn't need Baby. He didn't need Baby. He didn't need Baby. I mean, yeah, he that, didn't that need Baby. Was, he was, didn't need Baby. Don't get me wrong. More. Baby was a perfect fit on the album. The song's a bop. That's facts. And that's why I say, if we had to determine whether Donda was a better album than CLB, we don't got no choice but to say Donda because it was a great music, not necessarily a masterpiece, but it was a classic. I feel like that, if you compare, his, if you compare that album to the past albums he dropped within the past four or five years that was a great piece of work the features what the features matched together the production was great i feel like all the artists provided their best work and i feel like drake was like low-key toying with kanye like you know how he's like okay i'm gonna do this better than you i know i'm gonna sell better than you i know i'm gonna do get more number <coughs> ones so now i'm gonna put more features on my album and still do the same thing but i felt like if you would have kept most of them features and selected it down just to a few the album would have been possibly better than Donna's, but it it is not. That's just from my own fair view of it. And that's just me being a main Drake fan and trying to always see music from a non-biased perspective. Can we just say Blackface Drizzy to the help? Yo, Ak, can you agree that um this sounded more like a playlist than More Life did? Um, I'll agree. Yeah, it it's, it's, like, it's, yeah, it's, heartbreak. That's yeah, just hard, it, it, has, it has more it has more album cuts. But I don't get get how it ties to the theme. I think, Tyshawn, you definitely hit it on the nail on the head when you said it earlier. We thought we were going to get a bunch of love <coughs> songs. Girl of Beyonce, Days in the East. We thought... We As you can see, DJ Academics was actually going in. He, he, he was relentless at the time of it. Um, 
Academics is a voiceless person when it comes to him to have something to say. So salute the academics, salute to anybody. Y'all tell me what did y'all think of, you know, certified lover boy. You think this man Drake fell? Do you think he prevailed? What do you think he did, man? I personally feel I'm gonna do a review so we can look at it the right way and cordially, man. With that being said, look, man, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke hip-hop live man love your family love your kids and stay blessed man